Do you know what I hate more than taxes? Subaru drivers. And you know what I hate more than Subaru drivers? Death. And you know what's worse than dying? <laughs> Public bathrooms. I cannot stress enough how passionately I despise public bathrooms. They are the single most insufferable invention in human history. And I'm saying that as a man who took a gap year for a non-popular YouTube channel. Probably the single most stupid choice a man can make. And I still, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, believe that public bathrooms are useless. I've met broken traffic lights that are more useful than public bathrooms. I'm pretty sure I prefer being stuck in a goddamn national tragedy than having to spend five minutes in a public bathroom. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Slow down, BBA. Get a hold of yourself. So you're probably wondering why I immediately opened Pandora's box of rage here. Why do I despise the public porcelain throne? Well, let me tell you, my friend, and buckle in, because by the end of this video, you two will lobby for the eradication of public restrooms. Let's start with the simple nitpicks. Every public bathroom ever has the most cheap toilet paper. It's so unbearably off-brand. What's that? You wanted Charmin? Nope. F*** you. You get bath tissue. The toilet paper always rips too easy, man. How do you expect me to clean anything with a piece of cloth that's one micron thick? Air does a better job of wiping my ass than the public bathroom toilet paper does. And the insults don't stop there. The soap is always grossly coagulated, the sinks have a lower water pressure than a spray bottle, and the lighting is always straight out of a Mike Flanagan horror film. And it only gets worse from here, people. There's been this trend with public bathrooms for a few years now where they feel the need to automate literally everything everything. Need to get paper towels? Automated. Need to flush? Automated. Need to turn on the lights? Automated. Want a girlfriend? Automated. It wouldn't surprise me if somehow soon the toilets learn to automate the process of taking a crap for you. Alright, so why would I complain about everything being automated? I mean, it just means I don't have to touch the dirty objects other people have touched and it's less effort overall, right? WRONG! The sensors were designed in sweatshops somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, meaning they always break down instantly just like my relationship with my wife back in 09. That means that literally nothing works. The faucet ignores you, the towel dispenser ignores you, the jet engine thingy that dries your hands, yeah, it ignores you too. Nothing works, and no one bothers to fix it. This especially sucks with toilets because if you just spent 39 minutes fighting for your life, unleashing an abhorrent beast into the world from your insides, and you wish to banish it away to the dungeon as fast as possible, you can't because the toilet refuses to flush. So now you're gonna jump scare the next poor unfortunate soul to enter that stall after you. Oh, well, BBA, aren't there multiple stalls so that people can avoid your poop-crusted one? No! Most public bathrooms can only afford to install one stall. Why? I don't know, man. They must enjoy the suffering of others or something. The whole idea of a sit-down toilet is to go in there and fight a brown, smelly Dark Souls boss from your anus, which typically takes a while. Who wouldn't assume that multiple people would need to use it at once at any given moment? Yep, you guessed right, the lobotomized rich tycoon owner, baby. This means that while you're trying to fight for your life on the toilet, there's like four or five impatient old dudes waiting outside the door rushing you to be done. We'll get back to that one in a bit. And to add insult to injury, they couldn't even be bothered to make the stall visually closed off from the people outside. Nope! There's little gaps in the door and on the floor and on the top so everyone can bear witness to a little glimpse of your internal struggles. This is a social anxiety nightmare. On the topic of people, let's touch on that for a second because this is probably the worst part of public bathrooms. For some reason I can't explain, people lose all sense of decency when entering a PB. They become these weird apes that make grunty noises and blast ass as physically loud as they can. You would think this is just a weird thing that happens every now and then, right? Wrong again, you naive fool. Imagine you're rushing to the toilet. Let's assume this one is one of those rare mythical bathrooms with multiple stalls. You pick your favorite, if, if you can even call it that, and you pop a squat. You're just minding your own business doing what you gotta do, and suddenly you hear, oh, What the fuck? <laughs> oh, 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 o
back in the stall next to you. For some reason, dudes always have to moan when using the toilet, whether they're doing numero uno or dos. It's always ooh. And then you have those impatient guys I mentioned earlier. These geriatric dinosaurs never seem to understand what a locked door is. Now, I understand testing the door once or twice to assess whether it's occupied or not, but these fossilized goobers always hit me with the Whoa, is anyone in there? Hey, hey, I don't, I don't see anyone in there. Who locked this stall, you ripper snapper? Hey. And now let's talk about the icing on the cake, or should I say the poop pasta lathering the walls. Public bathrooms always make the CDC want to cry. I'm pretty sure every disease you could ever hope for is present in any given fast food diner restroom. No one ever cleans them, and honestly, I can't blame them, bro. And even if they did, some guy will go in there and, ugh, and you're right back where you started. This reminds me of that one time I worked in a small restaurant, and there was one day that some dude came in and somehow pooped on the walls, the toilets and the ceiling? I'll never forget my boss's reaction walking into the room after I told him what awaited him inside. <laughs> Boss, I'm not sure what to do here. You're just gonna have to see for yourself. What the fuck? And that's why I hate public bathrooms. Whoever thought these would be a good idea should burn in hell. You know what? No, actually, not even hell. I'll just banish them to a public bathroom after an intense Taco Bell session. That'll teach them. What was I talking about again? I don't know. But the end, the end. Bye! The whole idea of a sit-down toilet is to go in there and fight a brown, smelly Dark Souls boss from your anus. Which... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> one more try.